guys, this is Jessica, and welcome to your Bible movement for February 1st. Happy first day of February. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. And we have so many good stories in our Bible movements today, so let's get started. Our first scripture is um, Genesis 39. And this kind of is the beginning of Joseph's journey. Beginning of Genesis chapter 39, Joseph has been sold from the Ishmaelites and he got sold to Potiphar who is kind of like the captain of the guard so to say. So Joseph is working in his in his house as a slave and um, God or the um, eternal one was with Joseph and Potiphar saw this so he decided to um, make Joseph Potiphar's personal assistance um, because of course Potiphar wanted um, God to bless him and if he had Joseph as his right hand man he knew that his household was going to be blessed and that good things would happen um, so Joseph was in charge of everything of the households. Potiphar didn't have to worry about anything as it says in the Bible besides what he was going to eat that day. <laughs> um, so after a while Potiphar's wife noticed Joseph. Now Joseph was a young, strong, good-looking man. I mean what woman wouldn't look at that and be very tempted? So she goes to him and she propositions him to sleep with her and of course he's like, no, you are my master's wife. I'm in charge of everything but you and I'm not going to do that. Well, she propositioned him multiple times and multiple times he turned her down. End of verse, at the end of verse 9, I thought this was kind of a neat passage. Um, he, Joseph says, why would I do something so clearly wrong and sin so, bl so bluntly against God? I mean, he wasn't about to do something like that because of what the commandments tell you. Um, of course, back then the commandments weren't even done, so, but, um, so this goes on and things like that, and this last time she pursued him, um, he was in a room or something, and she came in and she grabbed, you know, his, his clothes that he was wearing, and she was like, come and sleep with me, and he was like, no, I'm not going to, and he pushed her away, and her hand was still on his clothes, and he ran out. Well, she still had his clothes in her hand, so of course she was showing everybody, look, this um, Hebrew slave that you brought into our house is trying to seduce me and sleep with me. And so Potiphar saw this and he believed his wife, so he was not very happy and so he threw Joseph in jail. There for a while, for a minute. So, um... But the jailer saw that God was with Joseph, so the jailer put Joseph in charge of all the prisoners, and the jailer didn't have to worry about anything. Um, so that is the end of chapter 39 in Genesis. Our next scripture is Psalms 17. Psalm 17 is just talking about God and justice. And one of our scriptures for the day comes from this passage, and it's Psalm 17, 15. But as for me, my hope is to see your face. When I am vindicated, I will look upon the holy face of God. And when I awake, the longing of my soul will be satisfied in the glow of your presence. Our next passage is Matthew 22, 15 through 46. And there's kind of a lot going on in this passage also. Now, um, the Pharisees, you know, were not happy that Jesus was saying all these things. So they sent a group of students and also in that group of students, some followers of, um, of Herod to Jesus. And they were going to kind of try to trick him, so to speak. And so this group, you know, is asking Jesus, they ask, should we pay taxes to Caesar? And Jesus saw right through this trick, of course, and he said, bring me a coin. So Jesus is looking at the coin and he says, give Caesar what is Caesar's, 
give God what is God's. And so Herod's men were just like kind of stunned at this and they were amazed and confused at the same time. So later on that day, um, the Sadducees, you know, they are still trying to trick Jesus. So they asked this question to Jesus, which is verse 24. And teacher, the law of Moses teaches that if a married man dies with no children, then his brother must marry the widow and father children in his brother's name. And then basically goes on to say, you know, well, there were seven brothers and this one woman had to marry each of the seven brothers because the brothers kept on dying. Um, and at the end it says, will she have seven husbands in heaven since they were each married to her? And Jesus in verse 29 says, you know neither God's scriptures nor God's power. And so your assumptions are all wrong. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the messengers of heaven. So according to this passage, in heaven we won't be married to anybody um there won't be relationships like that everybody will be a messenger of heaven I was amazed and astonished at this revelation too so hearing that jesus had silenced the sadducees the pharisees came and they were going to try to trip up jesus and they asked jesus which of the commandment is the greatest and in verse 37 which is um, another um, passage of the day. It says, Jesus is quoting scripture. He says, love the eternal one, your God, with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is nearly as important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The rest of the law and all the teachings of the prophets are but variations on these themes. The Pharisees were gathered there. Jesus goes on and he says, um, I want to ask you a question. And in verse 42, it says, what do you think about the anointed one? Whose son is he? And the Pharisees say, but of course, he is the son of David. And then Jesus goes on to say, basically, how can David call his own son Lord and things like that? And then um, no one had to answer for Jesus' question. So from that day forward, no one asked him anything. And that's the end of our passages for today. So I hope you are enjoying this Bible movement. And as always, give this a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any comments um, or questions or anything like that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more um, Bible movements. And thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. And Go Seahawks! <laughs> Bye. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe.